Welcome back. You're live with Expresso on Reconciliation Day. And at the moment, we're taking you to the stars and beyond, talking 2016 in review. What an unbelievable year for space exploration. Jonna Weltman is, of course, our interstellar guide this morning. We took it up to, to June, so let's kick it off with August. What an incredible year. What happened from August onwards? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's been phenomenal. August was big news with the discovery of uh, Proxima b a habitable planet around our closest star, which is only four light years away, besides the sun, of course, closest <laughs> besides the sun. So we discovered Proxima b and that it might be habitable and have running liquid water on it, and that was major news. Um, and then we went into uh, September, where we launched OSIRIS-REx, our first mission to an asteroid, where we are going to land on a carbonaceous asteroid and bring back samples. And the asteroids are very important in giving us sources of, of water and oxygen and fuel. Fuel, yeah. As we move off through, planets. As we, <laughs> off the planet, as we move through without having to come back to Earth every time and replenish. And then arguably the most significant day we will have seen in, in four or five decades was the 28th of September, 2016, where Elon Musk stood up at the International Astronomical Conference and announced his interplanetary transport system, how he's going to take a million people to Mars. And that, I mean, I get goosebumps yeah, just thinking about that. Yeah, well, there's echoes of that. JFK so, standing up in front of a yeah. scientific community, but half of them, the, the chief scientists in the world, shaking their heads, saying, no, we will never put a man on the moon. You need someone to stand up there and, and man up and actually put that challenge to the world. But being an engineer, not only did he do that, they've now tested the most complicated parts of the system already. The fuel tank is built and it works. They've tested it. The rockets that they're going to use, the gimbaled rockets, tested and works. And we're still only a couple of months from his announcement. And then, of course, we got into October and we had a little bit of a setback with Schiaparelli misjudging its altitude on, uh, on Mars and had a little crash. <laughs> but ExoMars is there and taking the first three-dimensional images of Mars and searching for trace gases in Mars' atmosphere. And then in November, we had a, a bump in November. In the beginning of November, we announced the um, two South African satellites were selected for the QB50 to be launched from the, the International Space Station. Um, as part of 50, a constellation of 50 satellites for Earth observation, so that was a big deal. And, um, and then we had the supermoon, closest the moon has been in 68 years, yeah. and a full moon, which was quite spectacular. We all got to live uh, through that moment, which yeah, was amazing. I, I hid yeah. from a few werewolves, and that's just in my own family, <laughs> but that was, that was amazing. And then, of course, now, right at the end of November, um, Cassini has started its last scientific mission, oh. which will carry us through um, uh, 2017. Um, observing the, the rings of Saturn and going into Saturn itself. But after 20 years of service out there, it's been a, a phenomenal ride and a, a fitting finish to the year. Yeah, she's played her part, of course, making a planned crash through the atmosphere. Um, and, and I love the fact that we're using that, th its own atmosphere to burn up to make sure that we don't contaminate um, the planet itself. Uh, unbelievable year, sir. I'm going to thank you once again for taking us through this, this new frontier. I cannot wait to see what 2017 holds. You tell us it's going to be in exponentially greater than 2016. Um, so thank you once again for all the work that you've put in this year. It's been amazing. Please send our best to your team team as well. I know you guys are hard at work, but oh man, a, a year better than any we've experienced before awaits us. So soak up every ounce of scientific discovery, sir. Uh, thank you. We've loved being here. Oh, it really has been awesome. You can let us know what your space highlights have been as we move through that new frontier and beyond time now, though, um, to reconnect with things happening down on Earth with the news.